Hello, and welcome to Invisible Gamer Plays. I'm Tristan. And I am Dan. We were playing Outlast. I'm re referring to the fact that we just left the locker, as I said we would in the last episode. That we would reference that we'd leave the locker. Yeah. Well, this locker? Is, this I, said, I mean, locker, not rocker. This door wasn't open before. Looks like we can hide in here later. Um. But yeah, we're like turning on switches and things, running away from guys with bats. And that guy's gone. Yeah. And he's gone. And what is that? Oh, that's South Park. I was like, what is that? <laughs> and it's gone. Uh. Well, the computer's malfunctioning. Or already. That's the least of our worries. Or already has. I thought that was the most of our worries. I mean, he's not wrong. I don't that, know why you'd think that. That was a computer that we needed to use. We need. We needed to complete the quest. Oh. Hey. Uh, hello. What's up, dude? What's going on? All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> ha have a good trip. See you later. To the, okay. Oh, I do not like the look of this. He's gonna chase us. Oh. Oh. He like runs. He walks at like the same pace though, so it's easy to get away from him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm fine. This is where we were. This is where we. Where did that say? All the blood. Oh, I think it's a wolf. <laughs> you can't read out there. <laughs> it's backwards. I see what you're saying. Wolof, like a. Like a uh, Wolof. Like a. Is that a real word, Wolof? Hey, there's Waddle D and Waddle Do. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> That's their names. That's their official names. Waddle Dee, Waddle Doo. Kirby. That is such a lighthearted game. You heard it now. The fact that I'm even referencing like Kirby. Kirby. Well, later in the session, we're gonna play Kirby, which will be a nice palate cleanser from this game. Yeah, definitely. We'll be like, oh, finally, we can be happy again. <laughs> because that game is a very different town. I would I would say almost exact opposites. Yeah. Would you agree? No, yeah, I would agree. Okay, where'd Tweedledee go? Tweedledee, Tweedledee. So many dead bodies. I wonder how many Bro. people died here. Like if there was a death count. Yeah, I don't know. Wonder what would it be. What are those right there? Are those walkers? No, they're filing cabinets. Oh, yeah. Too, too short <laughs> Squish to ourselves in the... Uh, like, small little lockers. That's pretty much what filing cabinets are. Like yeah, pretty lockers. much. For, for like, uh... Files. For, for papers? For files? Yeah, that makes... Pretty, files. Files are for file cabinets. Makes sense. Um... According to the key card. Okay. I thought it says Jordan has a keyboard. <laughs> Just type it... Well, it needs a password, so you type in... The, you plug it into the door and... <laughs> Uh, like, let's see, I go through here. I don't like this dude. I don't, I'm not liking this one. Yeah, I don't. I don't like them getting this either. Um. Whoa! Oh, that's the big guy that we hate. He thinks he's Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> Ripping off people's heads and. How long is that gonna go? Okay, I was gonna say, how long is that gonna go? He just ripped that guy's head off. Really. Yeah, he's the, the god of war. Um. Um, I, I keep losing my train of thought because I'm like kind of scared. Or they just like try to be aware of what's happening. I was gonna say, speaking of horror stuff, uh, this yeah. movie, have you heard of this movie, It Follows? No, I haven't. Um, it came out recently, it's an indie movie, and it's getting amazing reviews from critics, which typically don't happen for horror movies. Yeah. And I want to go see it, because I don't really watch that many horror movies, but yeah. it's a, it's, I've heard it's really good. I don't think I've ever seen a horror movie, like, in theaters. Oh, in theaters. Yeah, yeah. I... I don't think I have either. Most, I mean, there's, I, there's been. Oh my god, uh, oh my god you get it. Um, I mean, there have been movie theaters, or there have been horror movies that have come out, uh, obviously. But I don't think there's been any great ones that have come out in a long time. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, Wait, were they saying. Were, are they talking about us? Yeah. He, he thinks we're assholes? Is that what he said? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. that, well, that's what he said. Well, because they were, like, joking with each other. One of them was being sarcastic. Uh. Oh, close the door. Yeah. 
I forget what I was saying. Anyways, yeah, I want to go see it follows. The premise of the movie is that, like, there's this curse, I think, and then, like, this humanoid kind of being thing is a curse in this follows game? you around. Yeah. And, uh, it walks at the same pace constantly, but no matter where you go on Earth, it'll eventually catch up. Like, it, it'll, like, it can walk, it'll just keep walking, and eventually it'll reach you. Oh, um, gosh. Were we here before? Oh no, this is a different area. That is actually a really scary concept because, like, no matter how much time it will take, like, you can live yeah, your you life, can fly, but it, you're gonna live your life in fear, right? Knowing exactly. That thing is gonna get you. Exactly. You can fly back and forth between countries as much as you want, but like, yeah, eventually it'll like. You can't even freaking sleep without like with knowing that. Yeah. It's like holy crap. So I wanna I wanna watch it. I heard it's pretty. Yeah, that sounds scary. like a good uh, pretty good good idea. Um. Uh, Someone was telling me, like, that's yeah. not scary at all. I'm like, well, that's... The thing about it is that it's not so scary. I don't think it's, like, jump scare scary. At least that's how it's been described to me. Oh, this is I bet it could be. They get it in Orient. They uh, could. I don't know if the movie is like that, though. Someone was telling me that it's not really like that. It's more of, like, a psychological, just, like, scary supernatural thing. And it's, like, very yeah. atmospheric or whatever. Which sounds more like something I'd enjoy. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta check out It Follows. You should too, probably, because it's an indie movie and support indie yeah, filmmakers. Indie stuff is good. Indie games. This is an indie game. Yeah. I think the lines are blurring between indie and. What well, and uh, like? Not indie. <laughs> yeah, indie and not indie. I guess right. Uh, I think it's okay. Speaking of indie games, Shovel Knight. Game. I know, uh, so we're recording this a few days after that Nintendo Direct happened and people are, uh, putting in, uh, votes for who they want to see in Smash Bros. Yeah, Shovel Knight would be good. I know, yeah, I know people are making, uh, the case for, uh, for Shovel Knight. I don't know where they but are. Like, do you think, like, the characters that are gonna get in, just, like, who gets voted the most? Or who, like, no. Sakurai thinks oh, is, like, yeah. the best idea? No, it's definitely... Like, is it, like... I definitely think it's not going to be like they're going to put in whoever's voted the most no matter what. So many people were doing like... Because like everybody's saying, put Ridley in even though like he already made Ridley a stage hazard. Right. That wouldn't work at all. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird, huh? So... I think that if they're going to like see and there might be characters that... Like a character that's voted overwhelmingly the most, they might consider more, but it not, doesn't necessarily guarantee that. True. They just want to hear, and then from that, they'll base off what they're going to do. Oh, I think that guy's going to be running around down here. I mean, it could do something, because I know Sakurai listens to the fans. Because, yeah. like, he put Mega Man in the game just because, like, so many people said, Oh, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man. Just like, you know. Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man. I feel like there's a... That was a video. You Oh, crap. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come, I can't, come I can't in. Come I'm on. Hide. Oh, God. Well, this way at least I can see him still. But yeah, Smash Bros. <laughs> I like how he got in the park of Smash Bros. Uh, oh, there he is. Game. And he's going to come in here. Isn't is he? he wearing pants? I think so. Yeah. Dang it. I wanted to see his dingle dangle. Oh, wait, oh, no. Man, is he? I don't just, know. I can't tell. Just stretch my the back. I'll stretch my <sighs> back. Yeah, kind of tired. Where is he? Fuck, where is he? I hear his chains. He, he's Should I just got... run for it? Yeah. Yeah, just go for it. You got those two chains. Fuck. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a pig man, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's a pig man. That's what I mean. I don't know what I'm saying. That, but... Okay, I think I got away from him. It's Pigma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, this is what. Wait a second. Were we here already? No, we weren't. We weren't sitting there. Though. But the music's still. Yeah, like... he might still be around here somewhere. He's probably just. Oh, um, I hope he doesn't grab us. <laughs> like, you can do the whole part. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the music is still going. In. Can, can you open any of those doors? No, you can, I, I think you can't open those chain doors. Their... You can't open those, you know, the... the oh, that oh, freaked me oh. out. That actually freaked me out. That was a good uh, good job with the jump scare there. That actually freaked me out for a second. Oh, ah. boy. That got me. Wow. <laughs> Let's go into this arena where he ripped the dude's head off before. 
Oh, this, is, this would be like so disconcerting. Is he gonna hit us? Yeah. Tell you a secret. He can't. This is all. Uh, what the? I don't know what words are. Words aren't coming to me because. Because you're just. I'm scared. Yeah. I don't know where. Uh, who wouldn't be scared in this kind of atmosphere? Like, seriously? Specifically, like, this part. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty. I'm gonna need some help getting clean. This place looks like it was an awful place before the stage. You know what I mean? They make it even like ten years old. Holy crap. Why did that happen? Hey, I wanna help you. Thanks, dude. What, cause you were attacking you and he helped you? Yeah. Yes. Um I forget what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I was gonna say this place looked like it was like awful. Like, just they were treated awfully before it was even, oh, like, yeah. you know, the supernatural element of it or whatever happened. Yeah. Because, like, imagine, like, living in, like, or being in a prison like this. Oh, like, gosh. Like, That's, uh, scary. I didn't even know there's a tooth there. <gasps> I mean, uh, kinda, yeah, it kind of took me by surprise there. That's what they were going for. Alright, Dan. I'm getting towards... How many levels in this? Oh, you like floors? Yeah, I like you're levels in the game. Like, no, no, it's not really levels, but yeah, uh, got like, a few. It looks like this is the top. I think he's uh, he's got his head out there. What the fuck? Who's there? Are you serious, dude? It's me. All right, just come down. It's me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey do you, do you is he chasing you? Yeah, he's just walking at the same pace. He should. Uh, there you go. Silky? Oh, that's that supposed to happen. Yes. Holy crap. How, how am I holding my camera up to my head? Like yeah, <laughs> how were you able to balance yourself after getting knocked off like that? And oh. so hey, buddy. I think it's going to be okay. Next time when Invisible Gamer plays, just tune in and watch yourself on the camera and you'll be feeling fine. <laughs> Good night.